welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch, and we're going to have some thrifty fun, y'all. Now, the first item I want to show you, I was so proud that I found this. It was almost brand new. I even took it apart to make sure there was no buggies in it. Uh, it is a far Farberware waffle iron. And I've already used it a couple of times. And it works wonderfully. Paid $6.99 for it. I was excited because I've been wanting a waffle iron. I had an old waffle iron probably from the 1960s or in the 1970s. That was my mom's big old square silver, silver one. And it finally played out a few years ago and I haven't had one since and I have missed having one. Now these came from different uh, stores and I don't remember which thrift store is what but I'm just going to show you this. This is a crocheted scarf that you can double up. Infinity scarf. And I got it for Christmas. So I can, it's got the Christmas colors in it. And it's just really beautifully done. And I said, well, you know, I have a lot of scarves, y'all. But I thought this would be really pretty just for Christmas. And the way that they put it together, I thought that was really neat. It might have even been machine done. I'm not sure. But it is very soft. It's 100% cotton. I also picked up a vintage apron, y'all. It's got the little chicken on the top. It's got a pretty little pocket on it. And it's got ruffles on the bottom. I also picked this up. Now, this is not an apron. This is a, a boppy for nursing. And I thought I like the fabric. It's already the right length to make an apron out of. Uh, it does have a little little pocket on the corner for uh, whatever you want to put in there. And it has uh, um, a boppy label on it. And it's got the little strap. This would fit around the mother's neck. And of course, you would tuck the baby in to nurse. So... I thought, well, I can repurpose that. I like the fabric. Um, One dollar. Two dollars. And the little scarf was two dollars. I also picked up another one of these. Y'all have seen this before, but the one I had uh, bought already was shorter than this one. I paid one dollar for it. It's got the real good gasket on top. And the lid just fits right on there. Really nice canister to have on hand for dry goods. One dollar, y'all. And I also picked this up. It's a little mesh strainer. It's pretty good size. Paid 50 cents. And this will be used a lot when I'm canning. So, I have one that size already, but I wanted an extra one just in case I needed it. We went to a church uh, rummage sale, and I picked up, they had three packages of this. You can't see what it is. It's a bush basket gourd seed, and I paid a dollar a package. And it's probably got about 20, 20 or 25 seeds in each package. Guess what, folks? Some of these are going to be in my giveaway. My 1K giveaway. And then I'm going to grow some next year. We're going to see how they do. <clears throat> Something else for the kitchen. These are vintage salt and pepper shakers. They have the large holes in the top, which I really liked. With the metal, metal lids on them. And they were... A total of 50 cents, y'all. I also picked these up at the rummage, uh, the church rummage sale. And they are the exact same pattern, but they are different sizes. And I've got 
from one to three and then sizes four to six and these are little darling patterns i don't know how much they run this is pattern number 112 brand new in the package and i have a toddler grandson and i said this is perfect i can make him some little outfits and uh he will enjoy it. I can even turn that into shorts if I want it to for the summertime. And make this, and instead of making it a long sleeve, I could turn it into a short sleeve shirt for him. So I thought that would be really cute on my little grandson. Different uh, thrift store, but we found these. This is gifts and bags. And this is seasoning dips, y'all. Um, it has all kinds of labels in it you can use. And it has the recipes. Let's see if I can get a recipe. There's a recipe card there. And there's several of them in there. And uh, I'm going to put a, if I can find this online, I'll put a link to it in the description box below. I'm hoping I can find a link to this because this is, would be really great for someone with a small business that wanted to have some dips in their in their space or for gift giving, which is more than likely what I will be doing with it is gift giving. And I found two books that I thought would really be neat. This one is Household Secrets. This is Practical and Clever Solutions for Cleaning and Laundry, Organizing and Story, Decorating and Safety and Security. And also, if I can find these uh, online, I will put a link to them in the description box below. But it has some really neat little things that uh, can help you, including how to deal with Mealworms, bees, and wasps in the back of the book. 50 cents a piece for these books. And I got this one. This is Home Remedy Secrets. Features practical solutions that are safe, inexpensive, natural, easy to take, apply, or use. And again, if I can find these, I will definitely put these um, links in the description box below to these books. Because I think they're really great. And... You know, they're not really big, big, thick books, but they are handy for several things. I'm going to set these aside. Set that book over here. Get all this stuff organized so I don't have to redo it. And my la last items are, of course, uh, the dinner napkins that I can use to top my jars to keep the dust off my jars. And those were one dollar, and they are embroidered. And it looks like it was machine embroidered. So I got those two. One of these I think had a little bit of a stain on it, but for what I'm using it for, I really didn't care about the stain. And then I got three. Was it three? I got three of these. And they're, they have feathers on them. Paid a dollar for them. They're uh, a cotton, I think they're cotton and polyester. So that's five napkins so far. And then I got four of these. I like these. I like the colors. Very 1970-ish on the colors just really pretty colors um also one dollar and i got one two three four five six and i got six of these now these are heavy duty um they're 100 percent uh cotton and they were made in india these are these and they look real farmhousey Paid a dollar for them. So, I, total, I have um, six, ten, fifteen, fifteen of these 
pay four dollars for that so i thought that was a really good deal well y'all that's all i got for today i hope that you have enjoyed my thrifty finds i hope that you will go out and check out the thrift stores in your area tell me things that you find uh, that are really good bargains and let me know what you think about what i found if no one has told you today I love you, but Jesus Christ loves you more. Be blessed, everyone.